hair, you had to be someone who had never seen it. Right. And was kind of too young to have been in it. Sure. And uh, those were the prerequisites. I did a gazillion um, auditions, as everybody else did, because Milos Formeroy said that that was his most important thing as a director. Of course, fell completely in love with him. Best experience of my life. What a yes. wonderful way to be introduced to the film industry. You, you were incredible as Sheila. Thank you. Yeah. What was, so, um, tell me about your outfit. It's absolutely oh, gorgeous. Oh, my outfit. Okay. I'm green. <laughs> because I repurposed everything. Mm -hmm. This was the Armani Exchange tuxedo jacket that I had cropped and added some cuffs and velvet. And this clasp, I just picked up a Swarovski clasp at a fabric store. This was a Duchess satin ball gown that I turned into a column, had turned mm -hmm. into a column, which is why I can't walk, by the way. Because design flaw, there's no, there's no vent. It looks but anyway, beautiful on you. Know, it looks good. So, uh, but this was a Cynthia, Cynthia Rowley 2006 sample skirt that I just wearing because I thought, Peter Pan, got to sew my shadow on. Mm -hmm. So I got the little train. It's great. And, it's great. Uh, yeah. It's great. So uh, it's great that you're at the Drama League. Are you going to be singing anything tonight? Oh, no. No, I'm here because my dear friend Barbara Steele is on the board. So. Oh, okay. Well, it's a pleasure to meet you and Absolutely. have a great time. It's a pleasure to, to meet you. You're right now starring in Anything Goes on Broadway and doing an amazing job. And still having the time of our lives. That's great. So, so what are you doing tonight at the event? Um, I'm honoring my pal, Kristen. Right. Who I spent a year with mm -hmm. in Wicked. Right. And um, when they said, Can you come and do something? I yes. said, I have to. That's great. And so well, apparently. That's wonderful. Are you going to sing tonight? I probably will. My, maybe might. I don't know. Oh, we'll you, have to see. Okay. Well, it's a pleasure to meet you, Mr. Gray. Okay. It's a pleasure to meet with you, Miss Thomas. I saw you in Relatively Speaking on Broadway. And you're nothing like the character you played, right? <laughs> I'm not a helpless blob. No. Oh, no, you're you're a very very inspirational woman. Thank you. Um, with all that you've done with Thank you know free to be you and me, you. and you're really involved with a lot of things in, yes. for women, right? right? And and you have a new website, MarlaThomas.net. I love MarlaThomas.com. It's a lot. Now, right, right. That's fantastic. So, um, why are you here tonight? Well, I was invited to say a few words about the league and, and about Kristen Chenoweth, who I greatly admire. Okay. And um, and so I thought, why why not? Kristen is such a terrific performer. She so deserves to be recognized. Yes. And I also love the fact that the Drama League really cares about budding artists, both actresses and directors and uh, actors. So I wanted to be a part of helping to raise money for that. That's great. Well, you're an inspiration to women everywhere. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you for very much. Thank you. It's a pleasure to meet you. I love your movie, The Making of Elmo. Oh, thank you. So how long did it take you to, to get that to happen, that film? They shot for about six years. Really? Wow. And, and all the scenes, everything was a six-year compilation of all oh, the six things? years, yeah. Oh, wow. Well, it's a brilliant film. Oh, thank you. And, and how did you decide to do it? Like, what made you decide to make the film? I wanted to talk about how much enjoyment I've had over so many years performing with uh, Muppeteers and uh, Jim Henson. Right. Because he was a legend. Oh, he's wonderful. Yeah. And all the things that you did with all those people, you made people so happy all the time. Oh, thank you. People should say they love you. <laughs> because you make so many people happy. Oh, every you. day, you know, oh, with much. with Elmo and and all the other movies you've made, you were in all no, the Muppet we have a films. Great time. Yeah, we that's really that's great. Time. Now it was it's always been my my dream to interview Elmo. Sure. Hi, Elmo. Hello. I've loved you my entire life. Do you know I that? You. <laughs> um, what 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 are you what are you doing at this event today? Uh, Elmo's going to honor Miss Christian. Yes. Yeah. You, you love Kristen Chenoweth. Yeah, Elmo loves her very much. Yes. What's your favorite song that you've seen Kristen sing? Everything. Yes? You don't have a favorite? No. No? Okay. She can sing everything beautifully. She does. She's excellent. So, well, it's a pleasure to, to meet you. Thank you. And um, what else are you doing tonight? Oh, just hopefully spending some time with her, too. Yeah, are you going to sing with, with Kristen? Yes. Really? What are you singing? Um, for Good, from Wicked. Oh, really? Wonderful. With a lot of her friends, not just Elmo. Okay, fantastic. And, all right, well, thank you, Elmo. It's a pleasure to meet you. It's a pleasure to meet you. I've seen you in so many productions, and you're just a legend. You're such a wonderful performer. Thank you, you so know. much. Um, so are you excited about this evening? How exciting is it? I'm so excited. I'm 
most of the time people hear this, you know, when they're dead. <laughs> so no, I'm so you're honored young. that I'm alive to hear it. Yes. No. <laughs> and also I am very excited for the performances because I have been, you know, many times uh, a part of uh, of a show to mm -hmm. honor people. And I've also been there on my nights off and I know what it means to have most of these people here. And most of them are doing a show and they're here. Right. It just means, low. I just want to tell them all to use Purell and not get sick. <laughs> <laughs> great. So it was a pleasure to meet you and you I hope you have a great time tonight. I, I've already had, I could actually go home and have been thrilled. <laughs> okay.